What's up everyone, today I'm going to be showing you guys how I edit my surf photography in Lightroom. My name is Evan Ulbricht, I'm a professional surf and sports photographer here in San Diego. I'm super excited about this video because I did surf photography a few nights ago. One of the best sunsets I've ever seen, I had some amazing surfers out there and the waves are super fun. So, got some crazy photos and let's just jump right into it. So, I'll edit like three to four photos here uh, in Lightroom and just show you guys kind of what I'm doing. So, I already got, uh, I edited a few of them, uh, kind of just downloading them. So. I'll edit a few more for you guys and just show you guys kind of my process in that. So, um, yeah, let's see. So, this is a cool shot I got. I kind of cropped it a little bit funny um, just to see uh, what would work. But this is, let me see. Uh, let's try this crop. Please work for me. The computer's been a little slow for me. All right, right here. So, I like it how this shot right here looks crazy like that. So, this is one of my favorite, like, things to do. If a photo is kind of boring to you, it's like, how can you make that interesting? Doing stuff like this makes it super fun. So let's pick some photos and uh, see what we can do here. This is a cool, like simple bottom turn photo. Um, and yeah, let's see. Lighting is definitely a little bit rough, super backlit, but also makes it a little bit fun to edit. And hopefully if it comes out, um, can look really cool. So I'd probably crop it right there. Um, that usually looks pretty good. Obviously, you got to crank the shadows. Let's see if I have any presets that could help me with this. The light blues, I'm thinking. Uh, let's see. We're going to go light blues. So we cranked it already. Um, let's try to create a little mask right here around him. Boom. And let's see what we can get. So right here. Perfect. Boom. Let's crank that up a little bit. And yeah, that looks honestly really good. It might be a little too much, um, but let's see. We can obviously mess around with that later and try to fix that. So that looks super cool. I might go Adobe the Vivid. I like that color profile. And even right there, like this took like a minute maybe. Uh, and just a huge difference right there with how this looks. Um, and I don't like how this surfer is right here. So obviously you're going to just boom, remove him. That might have been a little bit too much of this, but let's see. All right, maybe I want a little bit more in the head. All right, let's see what this does. Usually it's pretty good. I've been using the generative AI a bunch. Um, just for objects like this, I feel like it works pretty clean. Works pretty fast, especially on my slow laptop, which is uh, MacBook Air. So hopefully we'll be upgrading soon. We'll definitely keep you guys updated on that and definitely make a video um, if I get a new one, probably the Mac Mini, which just came out, which is awesome. And let's see what it does for this. Sometimes it takes a few tries uh, to get it perfect if there's an object like this that's kind of right there in front of you. Um, but sometimes also you can't even notice. And usually when you're the one editing it, you know, and you're always looking at that one spot because you know what it looked like before. So most of the time you show someone a photo and honestly, they will never even know unless they're like an actual photographer. Um, if there's like a little mistake um, using some remove tool, usually they never know um, and don't really care. So that's obviously another tip to think about as well. Let's hope this uh, this gets going. Let's see. Um, all right, right there. Boom. Perfect. Cool. I'll just use that. That's awesome. So something like that. Um, and let's see. So do we want the yellows or the blues? I kind of like the blues in this. Um, I want the color to stand out a little bit more. It's a little too green on the lip for me, like yellowish. Let's see. Let's take that down a notch and take the luminance down. Ooh, whoa. Whoa. All right. Um, I like that. He kind of looks a little like orangish. So I kind of want to take that down a notch as well. Yeah, I like that. All right. So that looks pretty good to me. And I kind of want to crop this a little bit more in. Something like that. I honestly would probably crank this a little bit more. Let's see. So I want to make sure the details are right as well. So for sharpening, uh, put the luminance up, color up a little bit. And honestly, something like that looks super cool. Obviously, it's not super sharp photo, not super in focus. Um, but overall, for a little quick edit, I think this is a good shot. It's a clean shot. I really like the wave right here. I think this is the part that's really in focus for this image. But I think the lighting looks cool. And yeah, overall, this is a good shot. Um, and a quick little edit for that. So let's see what else we got. These are pretty cool right here. Um, this is a crazy one. 
I edited one of this one, so I did edit this one to this shot uh, right here, which I'm really happy with. Um, let's see if it loads in. Yeah, so this shot looks pretty crazy. Um, yeah, I'll definitely be posting that shot. That's an awesome one. Uh, let's see what other ones we got. So that's a cool one. This is a cool little air shot. I like this shot right here. Is Are they in focus? Let's see. Some of these shots are just tough when they're so far away like this. Um, so let's try to flatten this out right here. And right here. And this could be another shot as well where I make it a super long one. So it'd be like a two by one uh, ratio. So it'd be like this. And then, so something like that. But obviously posting these now and stuff is horrible because if you post that on like social media, no one would even see it because you just swipe past it so fast because everyone does um, like the high profile ones. Like you do a four, five, four, and then you'll make it vertical. So that's kind of the way to do that for social media. Um, but for this, we're kind of just having fun with this. And if we want to post it, we can obviously change it specifically for social media if we need to as well. Um, let's see what color profile I like for this uh, presets. Not a ton of color in this photo because it is pretty backlit. Um, I kind of like this green glow. I feel like it gives me the most color right here. And let's see what we got. Let's see what we can do here. Okay. Um, I can even make this like super backlit sort of or uh, also make the surfer stand out. Let's see. Let's try to select the surfer. Make him stand out a little bit more. This is a pretty crazy shot. Um, super clean honestly and let's see hopefully this works right here all right let's try to subtract this little part i don't know why i took that don't want that part um let's see all right also don't really want that part either so did i just add it or subtract it <laughs> Subtract it, right? Yeah, yeah. And then let me subtract this little part as well. I don't know why I added this part. And then I'm going to add the board. Let's see. Let's see what we can do here. I want to add it. Object. Boom. All right. Hopefully that'll work. Let's see what we got here. All right, that should be good. So we just want to make them stand out a little bit more and that looks good. And they're definitely going to be a little bit washed out. So make them a little bit sharp. And then for the noise reduction, we can kind of crank that. Honestly, I don't know how much you can crank it before it gets uh, a little too crazy, but something like that, like that looks so much more sharp. Um, they're standing out a lot. Really like this shot right here. And I can definitely, I mean, it's crazy how the R5 sensor when you have a photo like this, you can crop it so much like this. And look at how sharp this photo still is. So I really like that. And I can either remove this guy or I can just crop it in a tiny bit more uh, and see what we can do here. So something like this, I think that's a great shot right there. That's probably how I'd leave it. Maybe up the shadows a little bit more um, just to make them stand out a little bit more. But yeah, for me, that's a great shot. I'm super happy with that. Um, and yeah, let's go to the next one. So also, this is kind of a before after which is crazy how much uh, the edits kind of come into play here. So let's see if this loads, boom, after, and then before, and after again. Um, so yeah, pretty crazy how much these edits kind of actually play into this. And yeah, that's why editing is super important to uh, making your photos stand out. Um, let's see what we got right here. So, um, okay, this is a pretty cool shot right here. Big bottom turn. I don't know if he was supposed to bottom turn that much because it looks like his board's kind of losing control on him. Uh, well, let's see. Let's see what we can do here because this is a pretty cool shot. I kind of want to shoot it a little up tight right there. I think that looks super cool. Kind of a crazy angle right there. Honestly, I've not seen many shots like from that angle from below. Um, so let's see. I think in the light blues right here, I think that looks cool. The water looks like kind of nasty right here, but I think it's just because it's so backlit. Um, I wonder if I can make that. Oh, okay. I can make that a little bit like green. But that looks that looks crazy. <laughs> Um, let's see. All right. Um, what else do I want to do this shot? Do I want to make it more like a sunset shot or just a blue? I think I'm going to go more like yellowish. 
I don't know. Let's see. What was it at before? It's just added a lot of color in here. I really like how this shot is right now. Um, definitely want to make sure the color is up there. Let's see what we can do for color profile. See, the Vivid's a little too harsh in this. So the Adobe Color, Portrait, and then Standard. Not too much of a difference right there with that. Um, I definitely want to remove these guys. You can do that pretty easily. Just boom. Let's remove these guys. Let's see. Hopefully that works pretty well. Hopefully that works a little fast. But yeah, just trying to get cool angles and stuff in the water like this is honestly so much fun. And obviously you can put yourself in weird situations where like a board's coming at you and stuff like that. But that's when you duck down. And I'm thinking about getting a helmet as well to kind of protect me from that. Um, but yeah, getting images like this is honestly unreal. And like you can only do this by being in the water doing surf photography. Um, yeah, if you guys have any other questions as well about what I do with my editing, presets, stuff like that, totally let me know. Uh, and I'd love to answer your questions down below. Um, let's see if this works. Hopefully this just kind of removes these guys pretty quick. Um, but yeah, honestly, I don't know what else I do for this photo that much because the lighting is so harsh. It's hard to really like make it more blue or the water like look cleaner because it's like so backlit. Uh, I feel like just having good lighting on the surfer, and then having a clean like crop and stuff is kind of the most important thing for these photos. And it's just having good lighting for me is the biggest thing. Good lighting in a sharp photo, I think you can never go wrong with. Um, and yeah, that's what that's honestly what I aim for in my photography. Um, let's see what's going on here. Is it not liking it? <laughs> it's not liking it. Um, all right, well, I think that's honestly all I'll do for this photo because I really like how that looks. And then I'll put this as a three star. Kind of forgot to talk about that in the beginning. So. Whenever I'm editing my photos, I use this star system. So I started at one star. Uh, these are on two stars. And then if I really like the photo after I edit it, I'll move it to three stars. So that's what I've been doing. And that works really well for me. But everyone should kind of have their own uh, way of doing that. But yeah, um, let's see right here. This is a super cool shot. Let's try to mess with this a little bit. I really like this right here. I think I want to crop this pretty tight. Like that, I really like that. And for this, it's tough to, to find the colors that you really like. I think that looks good though. Okay, I like that, green glow. Let's see what we can do with the green glow. Um, first off, I think I'm just gonna crank the shadows a little higher. Just something like that, I mean, that is just crazy. Like even from the first thing to that, after just putting a preset on, it's just honestly amazing. Um, and then I really want his board to stand out. I think his board looks super cool. Let's try to get this board to stand out a little bit more. And he is super in focus, which is honestly amazing for the shot. Because there was a lot of things that could have been in focus. Um, like the water, the water in front of me. Um, so it's awesome when kind of it all comes together and you get, you get that shot that you're looking for. Let's try to turn this board off a little bit. Maybe a little too much. Let's see. I don't know what color this board was. That's the problem. <laughs> Sometimes you can like match the color almost to, to what you're looking for, but it's almost harder when you don't know the color of the board. Honestly, I kind of like it darker then because it looks like it's almost taking away from the photo if I make it too much. And let's see, did I, does it look a little weird right here? Um, no, that looks fine, okay. I'll do it a tiny bit, see what see what that does. Um, let's see, I might bring in a tiny bit. Yeah, I mean, just like that looks honestly amazing. Like that is such an awesome shot. I really like that. I'm gonna bring a little bit more colors in. Then I can make it almost bluer. Oh, that's so awesome. That is such a good shot. All right, I'm super happy with that. And since I did kind of crank that up, definitely want to use this noise uh, manual noise reduction. Probably put this at like 30. Sometimes you definitely have to crank it when you do something like this. Sometimes I'll use like the AI noise reduction denoise stuff, uh, but usually not. Usually I don't need that. Yeah, this looks awesome. If anything, his face is a little bit um, like orangish, so I'd probably go here. Just take the body real quick and then 
you can use the hue tool or just the saturation uh, and turn that down a little bit. And that's probably all you'd probably do the saturation just makes it a little bit easier. And then you can also do the manual sharpness and noise reduction on his face if you just want to do it for his body to make him stand out a little bit more. So right here, yeah, something like that. That looks really good. Definitely want to three star this photo. And yeah, that's probably all I'll do for this photo. And that looks honestly amazing. Let me run through one more photo real quick. Uh, let's see what we can do. Um, let's find one. This photo is awesome. This is a pretty cool photo. Let's do this on the background. Looks amazing. Um, yeah, let's do it. Boom. That looks crazy. Kind of just do a quick edit right here. I think I'm going for this green glow again. I'm going for it. Is this, this is the same guy as the last photo. <laughs> um, in focus again, that's great. Boom, something like that. For this one, I'm going to grab him and turn down the saturation a little bit on him. Just because, obviously, his face is like red, like bright red. Um, so I want to turn that down a little bit. Just make him look um, a little more normal right there. Yeah, like that. Definitely, I think I've cranked the, uh, the saturation almost all the way. <laughs> so for this, I'd probably add another object. It'll be him. And then I will probably just increase the light a tiny bit just to make him stand out. And yeah, honestly, that's probably all I'll do for this photo, if anything. I'll bring the highlights down in the background to make the sunset stand out a little bit more as well. But I don't like doing too much edits to the photos. Just want to make sure the lighting looks good. That's usually the biggest thing that I focus on is the lighting. Yeah, like that. It's probably a little too much. Something like this. And then I'll do the highlights down. Um, let's, see, let's see what we got here. Yeah, that's crazy. That is crazy, all right. Um, I might want to make it. All right, perfect. So I feel like this looks a little bit more natural than what it was, uh, making it a little bit more bluish. Uh, and I probably turned down some of this stuff a little bit, like the pinks are a little bit crazy here. It's so like not too much though, or else it'll kind of mess it up. But just turning this stuff down a little bit. And right there, I think that's a great shot right there. And yeah. That looks awesome. So thanks for watching the video. That's all I have for today. Let me know down below if you have any questions on editing, presets, anything with surf photography. Super excited to be making a bunch of videos like this. So yeah, definitely going to be dropping more videos about my editing and surf photography. And let me know what you want to see next. Um, yeah, got a ton of cool ideas. So I also want to edit your guys' photos. So if you guys have any photos you want to send to me, definitely let me know. Um, I think you can attach them maybe in the section on the comments. Um, maybe if not, you can definitely contact me on my website and leave that there. And I might also post one of my email addresses so you guys can send photos there. I'll make a YouTube video editing your photos. So thanks for watching. Uh, super fun video. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, share this video. It really helps me out and I'll see you next video.